everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. So today's video, we are going to be talking about the push chair that we bought for baby. We got the Infa Baby Ultimo three-in-one travel system. We decided to get the three-wheeler version instead of the four-wheeler version because the three-wheeler version is slightly higher up. And because my partner is six foot four, the handle when it extends is a much nicer, like more comfortable position for him to push than the four-wheeler would have been. So as you can see, the pusher is behind me. We got it in black. I just thought, you know, it being in black, it would be easier to keep clean, less stains and all that sort of stuff and mud and things. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be talking you through everything we got with the push chair, the different things you can do with the push chair, the little features and stuff, and I'm gonna be talking about the things that we bought extra that didn't come with the push chair. <laughs> so if you're interested, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get to it. So this is the push chair with the cot attached to it. As you can see, it has really, really large wheels. I think these are the biggest wheels I've ever seen on a push chair, to be honest, but that's really good for us because we really like to go on country walks. So I feel like these are like really good all-terrain wheels. This is the cot and you have the detachable cover here. It's quite hard to see because it is all in black. There you go, that's a bit better. That's the cot. It's quite a big cot as well. So this push chair is actually quite easy to like change and configure around. There are just a few buttons that you need to press really and it does it all for you. So if you wanted to take this bit down, you just press the buttons up the side here. Push them both in, that goes straight down. So the handle, this is the height of the handle that I would like, just about waist height. But there's two little buttons just on the inside here. If you put your thumb on them and press, it can go right up. So it's like, that's to my boobs now. <laughs> and it can also go right down as well. So you can literally have it at any height you like, which is really good and handy for tall people. I am five foot six, so I feel like this is like a perfect height for me, just straight out. My partner, as I said, is six foot four, so he'll probably have it a bit higher than me. But it really depends on your preferences, to be honest, and which, whichever way you you like it. So when you buy the Info Baby Ultimo, um, you obviously get the basket at the bottom included. You get all of this, obviously included the frame, the wheels. Obviously, you get the cot included with the inserts and the little inserted mattress that's all included you also get the cover that goes over the top of the cot that's included as well and because it is a travel system you also get the car seat with it it comes with an insert which i think you can take out and that becomes like a a bit of a bigger space for a bigger baby because you can use this from newborn just has the two straps and the red button that you have to press and it detaches the two straps Really quite easy and simple. And then it has this strap here, which I think you pull and it tightens these straps up. They're on the tightest setting at the minute now, just so I, so I won't be able to do that. But you pull that and it tightens these up and then you can, you know, have it at different widths and stuff and clips in really simply. And then to, to get your baby out, you just press the bu red button and it comes straight out. So it comes with the car seat. And it also comes with these two adapters that you can put onto the pushchair frame and then you can just put the car seat straight onto the pushchair. What this travel system didn't come with, however, was the Isofix base for the car seat. You can use the car seat without an Isofix base. You obviously use the, the seat belts in the car and slot it through the sides, these blue sides and things. And on the car seat as well, it has a little diagram here of how to do it on both sides but we did opt to buy the isofix base as well i haven't got it with me because that's already installed in the car and we actually found it quite difficult to install the isofix base into our car it had instructions but the instructions weren't really really clear and because this is our first baby we've never ever had to do an isofix base before we struggled quite a bit with it. So that's in the car at the minute. I'm not getting it out, that, that can stay in the car. <laughs> but yeah, you do have to buy the Isofix base separately, but you don't need it with this 
car seat, you can just use the seat belt. Also with the car seat, you can obviously put this up and down, so you can have it completely down like that, or straight up, or different settings in between, so you can have it like halfway, a bit more, a bit more, and it kind of clips into place every single time. And then for the actual handle, all you have to do is there's like a little, little knobbly bit there, I don't know if you can see that, there's like a little knobbly bit here on both sides, and you just push those, and then it goes down, all the way, as far down as you like. And then that's really quite easy access then to get the baby in and out. You put your baby in, pull this up, press both levers again, and it comes straight back up again. So I feel like for the price as well, it's actually quite like well made. It's a nice, nice car seat. <laughs> and it matches everything else, which is really nice as well. So. so yeah, that's the car seat section. And then it also came with the chair. So I think after about six months or I don't know, it depends on your baby's weight, I suppose. But after about then, I was, you know, your baby kind of wants to look around as you're walking around. So you have this nice big chair and it is actually quite, quite large. <laughs> yeah, the chair has, again, another insert. So I'm sure if your baby gets a bit bigger, you could take the insert out. It has a nice thick harness, two pieces for over the shoulders, one around the hips and then one in between the legs. And again, you just press the button and it all comes undone. So there's quite nice thick harnesses, these ones over the shoulders, and then you have some hip harnesses as well, and then the bit in between the legs, and then you just press the nice little love heart button, and it all pops off, just like that. And what I liked about this um, seat as well, is you know sometimes with push chairs, you have to kind of get these clips together, like hold them together like with one hand and then put this in with another hand and whatnot. With this one you don't have to do that, you can literally just do one in one side and then the other in the other side. It's so, so simple, so, so easy and that's what I really liked about it. Fuss and hassle free, which is, you know, I like that. <laughs> it also comes with this really nice leather handlebar, so you just clip that in like so and that's a nice little thing for your baby to hold on to when they're going around stops them from like coming out i suppose and to detach it there's just little silver knobbly bits just on the sides here you just press them you can do it one at a time press it pull it out you can even just move it across and then just let it go and it can just hang there you don't have to take them both out and you can do that with either either side and then just let it hang there so it's kind of, it's really, it's really nice. It's kind of like hands-free, kind of, because you're not having to like take this off completely, put it down somewhere. You know, you don't want to put it on the floor and make it dirty. So you have to find somewhere to put it and then you get your baby out. Whereas doing it like this, like your baby's there, all you have to do is just clip, undo one, unclip, straight out. Easy peasy. And then to put them back in, you put them in, one clip, another clip, they're all sorted, blankets, whatnot. Clip it in, you're done. So it's pretty, pretty simple, <laughs> pretty easy. And also this has a really nice um, big hood. It can come right up like so. And then if, you know, it's a really sunny day or I don't know, they're fast asleep or something, there is a zip, so you unzip it all the way and then you can pull it over a little bit more so they've got a, that, that bit more coverage type thing and there's also a little pee pee hole a little mesh pee pee hole so if they're on the push chair but facing outwards and not facing you you can just peep in and see oh no they're still asleep close it back up so i really like this this one is however the only one that has the extended hood. The other two don't. The car seat and the cot don't have the extended hood. But another thing I also really like, which I can't really show you because it's daylight, but you see all these little silver seams all the way around the hood here, all the way around this car seat hood here. And these little seams here and even around on the cover they're all reflective so say you're walking around 
of an evening or you know at night time whenever you go under a street lamp or a car drives past they're they're like the high vis um so they all like glow <laughs> i can't really show you because it's daylight but yeah they they all glow even though it's a black pram you're kind of luminous still which is again really really nice safety first <laughs> so i just want to talk about the actual cot bassinet area now it's already installed on the pram um like i said it comes with the cover so you can cover them up keep them nice and warm what this can do is if you want to put the hood down but not put the whole thing down like the bar and everything there are zips either side that you can unzip and then you can put it all just straight down like that and you can still have the handle there i just want to show you these buttons down here now to get the the bar and the hood down you just have to press these buttons. There's a little button here and a little button on the side. Just press them together. It all folds straight down. And to get the cot off the base, there's these bigger buttons here. On either side, you just press and it comes straight off. Really, really nice and simple. From what I gathered on the website, you can use this, the bassinet part, for um, daytime naps. So you don't have to you know buy a second bassinet or whatever for downstairs if you if you're on a two-story house or whatever or go upstairs all the time you can actually use this for daytime naps and what i also really really like about it is if i just attach it from the base a minute if you take off the bassinet you can obviously place it on the floor and underneath it has this kind of slightly curved ridge just there so if you're out and about or whatever at a friend's or family's house and your baby's asleep and you know you can pop the bassinet on the floor and it actually I don't know if you can see that it rocks really slightly so you can see your baby in this little cradle bassinet thing and they can have their little daytime naps so yeah, that's the bassinet, and to put it in, it's really, really simple. It's a little bit heavy, but not too bad. You just have to line up these little silver bits in with the holes, and it just clips straight in. Easy peasy. So yeah, I do really like the bass that bassinet feature of, you know, being able to use it for daytime naps and things, and taking it off and just having it as a separate little, almost like a little Moses basket in the downstairs. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for overnight naps. Obviously... It will probably be a lot better if you have an actual like travel cot if you're going traveling or something or just put your baby in the baby's actual bed. I wouldn't leave it in the bassinet all night, but you know, for daytime little hour naps while you're doing the housework or whatever, it's perfect. As long as your baby fits, obviously. Once they get a bit bigger, they won't be able to use it. But two things that I will say about the bassinet is one is this cover it obviously fits quite nicely but my little pet peeve is the way to attach the cover is they do it by these little ties i don't know if that's a normal thing um for a push chair to have these little ties i'll show you you put you put the cover on and then you've just got these little ties that you have to like tie it around something to get the cover to attach like you just tie around the bar or you know there's a there's a tie at the top for the top flap so i suppose that one would go around this bar like that and then that one around there i don't know but yeah i'm not really a fan of these little ties i just feel like they're a bit fiddly and finicky and if you're in a rush and you want to get your baby out of the bassinet you have to like go through all the ties and then take it off and all that so that's the first thing and then another thing that i'm not a huge fan of when the bassinet is attached is the the basket underneath it's really quite close to the bassinet like i can just get my hand in i don't know whether you can be able to see that really closely there you go you can kind of see now like it's really really close like i can just get my hand in like that's how much clearance <laughs> there is to the basket um a couple of things i want to say about this basket as well it is it is a top loader and it is also a little front loader 
So obviously it's got this cover on the top, which is actually quite nice. Stops, you know, little hands getting in and getting your stuff out, but it completely unzips all the way. And it is actually quite a large basket in there, which is really quite nice. It's really quite big. But as I said, when you have the bassinet on the pram, it, you you know, you literally cannot put anything in or out of the basket from the top because you've literally got like an inch clearance. But it does have a little front pocket just here that you can unzip. So this little front pocket here, you know, you probably won't be able to get all your shopping in there or whatever, but I'm just gonna be using it for my little accessories for the push chair. So obviously the attachments for the car seat, you know, your rain cover, your umbrella, I've got a few little clips and hooks and things to have my, my bag on the push chair while I'm going around and I've even bought a little cup holder <laughs> to attach to the side of the push chair for a drink. So I've put all my little accessories for the push chair in here. And obviously when the baby's a bit older and you have the, the car seat or the chair on, you'll be able to access it from the top a bit easier, but just with the bassinet on, you, you can't really access it very well. As you can see, I put the bassinet back on and it's literally that much clearance. So you you really wouldn't be able to, you could probably get your hand in, but, but I don't know about anything else. <laughs> so a couple of other quite cool things that I want to talk about before I show you the different things on the frame is um, the front wheel here, you can lock it so it's only straight. You can either have it as it moving around like this, or there's a little lever at the front, you push down, and then the wheel will only go straight. Like, you can't turn it. Which I think is a feature for when you go running. And obviously you have your brake, so down here there's a little foot lever, so you press down and it Put the brakes on, you can't really move it anywhere. And then you push it up, oh, I've got no shoes on. Push it up and then you can move it again, which is, you know, pretty standard feature again, but it's always handy to know. Now, I just wanna show you the rain cover really quick. This comes with the travel system, so you don't have to pay any extra. And it's quite simple, really. You can obviously kind of tell the shape of it. You kind of know where it goes. So this part goes over hood and then this part here it goes over the foot area it's quite a nice snug fit you know you're gonna get wet but at least your baby will be nice and dry which is nice so yeah that is the rain cover quite nice as well because it because it fits quite snugly you don't have to use any clips or ties or anything like that it literally just slots over and stays in place which is really nice I'll just show you now how the car seat fits with the push chair so obviously you take this thing off the cover again you you press the two sides just comes straight out really really easy and then with the car seat as I said earlier you have these little adapters and on each adapter it says left and right so obviously you know Put the left one in the left side and the right one in the right side so then when you come to use your car seat all it does is just clip straight in just like that so the car seat clips straight in to the adapter just there Look, you can see the adapter there and that's where it just clips straight in so this is the car seat on the infant baby frame you can then obviously clip the handle straight down then you can get to the baby, easy peasy. I don't think it looks too bad either. Sometimes some push chairs look quite strange when it's just the um, three wheels and the car seat, but I think it looks all right actually. And another good thing about when the car seat is on is if you can see, you have a lot more clearance for the basket at the bottom. So you can actually use the top loader zip for the basket at the bottom. And then to get the car seat off, the frame, just here, by the handle clips, there's like a little lever. So bring your handle up, and then on either side, there's a little lever, you just press the lever in, and it comes straight off. Like, I just really love how like easy and simple everything is. There's no, not like loads of 
clips and levers and millions of things that you have to do before you can do anything. Like, it's nice and easy and simple, <laughs> which I like. I'm gonna show you the chair now, and you can either have it facing you or away from you. With the chair, you don't need any adapters because it already comes with its own little silver bit like the bassinet did. And it's quite simple, you just pop it in and it lovely and secure. So this is the pram with the chair in. Like I said earlier, you've got the handle so you can take the handle off, fling it over the side, sort your baby out, bring the handle back and it's like a complete like full swivel and click it back in, you know, and you're good to go. This bit here, push your buttons in, the footrest bit comes up and down so you can have it down like that or you can have it up. Again, you've got the extendable hood. So I'll just show you how far it comes down while it's on thing. That's as far as it goes down, which is still pretty good. It kind of shades them. I believe as well, you can have this chair sat up like it is now, or you can lower it. There's a little clip at the back here that all you have to do is you hold it down and then it lays flat. And then to bring them back up again, you just have to hold that button down again and you can bring it right up if you really want to. So they're sat right up, looking around at the world. So again, they can sit right up, put the foot bin back down, slightly, slightly laid back, or completely laid back. And then you have the, the hood there to shield their face for when they're sleeping. The same as the bassinet to remove all you do is push these really big buttons on the side, push them, and it comes straight off, and then you can switch it around, and just clip them in, and then sit them up. And then you can walk around, and they're looking at the world, and you've got your little peep view window to make sure they're all right, you can look in there. One thing I did buy extra that wasn't included in the three-in-one kit was the foot muff for the chair. It's really big, as you can see, it's huge. It has the Info Baby logo at the bottom. Inside, it's this really nice, like, fleecy material. Got a big zip going down the side, going all the way around. So you can completely detach the front from the back. So I suppose that makes installation a bit easier. And then what you have to do is, I'm not gonna do it fully because it's a bit finicky, but there's little slots in the back of the foot muff. These line up with the little slots for the straps. So what you have to do is obviously undo it and then you just put the straps through the slot. The middle one for the legs goes in there. These ones obviously go through the top. I'm not gonna do it fully because it's quite fiddly. But then it sits in there like that. So all the straps come through like so and then you put your baby in clip them all together so they're all secure and whatnot and then you zip on the top layer to keep them nice and toasty and then put this back on and then you can attach these little straps here but you can attach this into its little hook there so then that's folded downwards and not up in baby's face. And then if they fall asleep, you can probably tuck them around and make them all nice and cozy. But yeah, that's a rough example of the foot muff. <laughs> we ordered this extra because it didn't come with the three more travel system. And in the winter, it gets quite cold. But yeah, I really like that it has the extra little slots in it. So you can really secure it into the chair and it's not just like they're sat in there sliding around all over the place. They're properly secure. Another thing I want to chat about that we got as extra from the shop is the parasol. It comes in two parts. You have the first part, which is how it clips onto your push chair, and then the bendy rod. The bendy rod is actually quite hard to bend, which I suppose is quite a good thing because when you're out and about you don't want it flopping all over the place. And then it has this connection point here and the parasol clips into and then I believe you have to screw it around. You can't even see what I'm doing. You have to screw it around once it's clipped in so then it doesn't just pull out. And then to take it off, obviously you unscrew it and then it just comes out. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how to install it. I've just taken the chair off just because it might be a bit easier for you to see 
how you install it. So you have this big clip just here. You have to open up the clip like so. And then you attach it to the bar here. So you just put it on, wind the clip back up again. So yeah, it's just hanging there now, it's attached. So I'll just put the, the bassinet on just so you can kind of see what is happening. But you know, you've got your clip on there now. So then you just have to bend this around to wherever you want it. Open it up and then voila, you have your parasol. It's quite long, so I'd maybe put it down a bit more. Or I'll probably put it down here. You can have it whichever size you like, but it just really shields baby. I probably haven't put it in the right direction or whatever, but you get the general idea. <laughs> so I'll just show you now quickly how to fold the frame down. So just take everything off the top. You know, you can't fold it down if you've got the bassinet on there or something. And then make sure the handles are straight. You know, you don't want them facing right down like that because it gets in the way. So make sure the handles are like relatively straight. That should be fine. And then at the sides here, you have these levers that go up and down on either side, as you can see. So what you have to do is you pull them both up and then you literally just push. So I'll show you. Lift them up and then just push. So before I clip it into place, I just wanna say that you need to make sure that front wheel is flat and not like upwards. You don't want it like that, you want it to be flat. And then as you're pushing, this black clip will clip onto this black little screw and you'll hear it click. There you go, it's in place. And then now you can literally pull it up and you still have the big wheels at the bottom. So you can just roll it around like a little flat trolley. <laughs> and then to unfold it, you just have to lift up this little black clip and it unclips. Bring up the handle and then just go whoop and it's in. All done, nice and easy. accessories that I bought separately off Amazon. First thing I bought were these two carabiner clips. They're from a brand called Baby Uma. Um, you just use the Velcro straps to just strap onto the handle bars at any point you want. Like you can have them at the top here, you can have them down the sides, and then you can use them as little um, bag holders or I don't know. You can you can hang anything off them really. Obviously not a too heavy bag because you don't want the push chair to topple over. But you know you can hang your bag. You can hang a little shopping bag. So I got those two separate carabiner clips. I also bought a little um, set. It came with a hook and a cup holder. So the hook is the same principle as the carabiner clips. You just have the big Velcro strap and then the hook at the bottom. So you strap it onto the handle and then thread it through the middle like that. You can kind of see and then attach it just like that. It's really, really adjustable. You can have it really tight so it's really secure. And that is a good little clip there again to hang whatever you like off. The cup holder that I got is quite a big cup holder. But it's the same sort of principle as the umbrella. You have the clip that goes onto the bar and then the tightening situation. So I'll just show you on this. So I'm gonna have the handlebars to about here. So with the cup holder, you can move this bit around. So you can have it going under like that, or over like that. You can have it to the side like that. You know, anything you like. But I'm gonna have it on the actual handle here. You place it on, you make sure it's you know the way you want, and then all you have to do then is just tighten it back up again. And then that makes it really nice and secure for when you want to have a drink. But yeah, that's the principle of the cup holder. So especially for summer, when you're going for summer walks, it's always good to keep hydrated, to have a bottle of water with you, and you know, you don't have to have it in your bag now, you can have it on the go, or if you get a takeaway coffee, you know, anything. So that's really, really handy to have. So I just want to mention really, really quickly that I ordered this 
system on the 22nd of November. It was a pre-ordered item, um, so it was expected to be delivered um, middle of January, but actually it came middle of December. So it was only like a month really for delivery, which isn't too bad, <laughs> I don't think. We aren't due until um, middle of April, so we had quite a lot of time anyway to wait, so it wasn't, it wasn't too bad, and everything came all together. There wasn't any like separate packages or whatever. It all comes with instructions and a manual and everything like that, so I recommend you keep hold of that until you figure out how to work everything. Um, I will link the website below of where we got it from, and then you'll see on there all the prices of everything. It's actually a really, really affordable system. For what you get and the quality of it, it's really quite it's quite affordable, it's really good. I know they have won a bunch of awards as well. They won awards last year and the year before for different different things, um, but that's all on their website as well, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. So yeah, again, I'm really glad we got the three-wheeler one because obviously the wheels are a lot bigger and it is a lot taller for my partner, who is six foot four. <laughs> um, so that is everything, I believe, for this video. I hope, it was okay, you know, I hope I wasn't rambling on too much. I tried to show you everything, because when I was looking for a bush chair, or looking into this bush chair particularly, there wasn't really a whole lot of like reviews and stuff like that, so I just wanted to put my review out. Bear in mind, I haven't actually used it with, with a baby before. I'm not due yet, so I haven't actually used it with a baby, but I've tried to explain all the different features that you have with a baby. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!